Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the problem beautiful arrangement. Suppose you have n integers from 1 to n. We define a beautiful arrangement as an array that is constructed by these n numbers successfully if one of the following is true. For the ith position, i is from 1 to n in this array. The number at the ith position is divisible by i and i is divisible by the number at ith position. So these are the two rules. If any one of them satisfy and all the elements of our array is satisfying, we will consider as a beautiful arrangement and we have to find out number of such beautiful arrangement from the all possible permutations of this number 1 to n number. So let's understand this problem here with this example. If i have n equals to 2, if our n is 2, then our numbers are 1 and 2 in our initial array then we can form two possible permutation of this array like 1 2 itself and another permutation is 2 comma 1. So now we will we have these two permutations. So first we will generate the permutation then we will check whether it is valid or not. How we will check? We will check at this so the index for the rule it is says that consider as 1. So this is 1. So we will check whether this number number at this uh, permutation so which is 1 is divisible modulo like modulo if modulo is 0 with the i and i is 1 is yes and for 2 is modulo with 2 is also divisible yes. So both of the number is satisfying the so whole array satisfying. so this is a beautiful arrangement. So overall we will count 1 here and now similarly for this permutation we will check here. So if I try to 2 y 1 is satisfying and here 1 y 2 is not but 2 y 1 is satisfying over here if the and so this is the second rule is satisfying hence both the number is satisfying the rule one of the rule given rule. So this is also a valid beautiful arrangement. So the total uh, beautiful arrangement is 2. So how we will solve this problem? So we will divide this problem in two phase like naive approach. First what we can do we will form all the possible permutations. So if you already solve the permutation problem then it is if it not let me explain how we will generate all possible permutations from the given array. So if we have the array 1, 2, 3, then we will call a recursive permute method and start an index which is let us say k from 0. So first what we can do, we can have place at 0th place we can place all of these numbers right 1, 2 or 3. So the first permutation is start from here like 1, then this two second like I am processing the this place 1, 2 and 3 and uh, here 2 will be on the first place 0th index and then I am swapped with this. So this will be swapped from here to here. So this will be 1 and 3. Similarly here we will have 3, 2 and 1. So like this when we done at this level our k will become now 1. We will update k by 1 every time when we move on to the next next depth in the next of the depth of this. Now here also now for k equals to 1 we can keep it 2 itself or 3. So we have again 2 choices. So this will be 1, 2, 3 is one of the permutation. Another is like 1, 3 and 2. Similarly we will get 2, 2 over here. So if we have n numbers we will get n factorial permutation of the, that array of numbers. So now once we got the all the numbers so here is a full tree of all possible permutation of uh, when n is 3. So this is the case of n equals to 3. We have 6 possible permutation. Once we got the permutation, we will check if it is satisfying our rules. So first, if I see the 1, 2, 3 is our index. So this is uh, vice versa, like both the rules are satisfying. So this is a beautiful arrangement. Now here we have the i is 1, 2, 3. If I divide it, it is satisfying, but this is not satisfying satisfying any of the way. So we cannot count it again for this 1, 2, 3. This guy like I can divide this 2 by 1 yes and then here 2 by 1 yes reverse way and this is also satisfying. So this is uh, beautiful and it is not this one is also not and this one is a beautiful. So out of 6 3 is a beautiful hence we have to return 3 as our answer. So one more thing is note that we have to return the count. So there is no need to store this anywhere. Just we will check when we reach when our k. So so first of all we will write a recursive method like permute. So this method we will pass the array nums and the k. So whenever our k is 
equals to the length of this guy length of array so len of array if length of nums then we will call another method check whether is valid or not and then it valid method is this definition like this what we did compare so just pause the video and try to implement it yourself first so here is the code for the naive approach so what i did i declared a global variable initialized from zero that we will store here so first we created a nums array of an element and call the recursive permute method by passing array and the k initialized from zero this is the index where we will start from the permuting now here we first we will check here if start from k the uh, iterate all the num numbers in our array from the kth index to the length of the array and then swap the uh, element at ith index to the k the k running k so this like same i explain here like first zeroth place we swapped all the numbers like that and then we will call again the permute method recursively for k plus 1 and so on and after that we are doing here backtracking if we then found or found the solution we will backtrack for the other possible cases now once we found like k is becomes the length of array and it is valid so this is the definition of valid method so what we are just iterating all the numbers and checking one of the rule if it numbers at that index is divisible so is the index is one ways while the array is a zero bit so we just plus one and then comparing if it is satisfying any one of the rule continue keep continue it if it is uh, not satisfy both of the rule we will return here false itself if all possible rules are satisfied in this for loop for all the number we will return true and we will update the count here so this is the simple swap definition so if we try to run this code this will works well and fine for a small input it is working here but as you can see the factorial takes n factorial is the time complexity of our generating all the permutation then for bigger n this will be cross the time limit as here n is very big 15 15 factor is very big number so how we can optimize it further so as you can see here we are just calling this and then checking why can't we stop here if anywhere we see the rule is not satisfied so this same rule from here we will just apply here if it is not satisfying any of the guy if it is not satisfying if it is satisfying then only call the recursive call otherwise stop there for that to recurse and backtrack or error itself so now and we will remove this condition because we already checked once we reach at here we will get always a beautiful arrangement valid beautiful arrangement so we can also remove this code now this is not needed for this optimal so let's compile this code first and just test some of the other test cases as well and it is working for the two let's try for three four more uh, custom test cases and see as you can see it is working for all the custom test cases now we can submit this code and wait for it is got accepted now what will be the time complexity of this solution so the time complexity of this solution is same as like this we are calling multiplicator but here if we have m such beautiful arrangement then the time complexity is o of m not the o of n factorial so that's the optimal solution the previous one the naive approach one which will be taking n factorial time now what will be the space complexity as you can see here in this recursion tree we are going depth of n element hence the space is o of n so if you like this solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and try to solve other permutation problems as well like uh, permutation this uh, problem 46 47 is also there and 60 is there and i have video on this 47 so you can get idea more i detailed idea so thanks for watching